As we know, illuminated manuscripts were handwritten books, or codices, that were illuminated by monk scribes. This practice began to decline in the mid-1400s and was replaced by an invention that changed the world, the printing press. In 1450, Johann Gutenberg introduced modern book printing. He is credited with inventing the technology of printing with movable type. The printing press was a hand press in which ink was rolled over the raised surfaces of movable hand-set block letters held within a wooden form. The form was then pressed against a sheet of paper. The Gutenberg printing press was developed from the technology of the screw type for pressing wine grapes and olive oil seeds both of which formed an integral part of the Mediterranean and medieval diet. Johann Gutenberg has often been credited as being one of the most influential and important people of all time, with his invention occupying similar status. In fact, the A&E Network ranked him at number one on their People of the Millennium Countdown in 1999. Gutenberg was born in the German city of Mainz in the late 1300s the youngest son of an upper-class merchant and goldsmith. He spent time with his father at the Mint watching goldsmiths and jewelers perform their craft. Working there, and his love of reading, motivated him to find a better way to create books. In 1428, there was an uprising in Mainz against the patricians or aristocrats, and more than a hundred families were forced to leave. It is presumed that the Gutenbergs migrated to Strasbourg for political reasons. Gutenberg began experimenting with metal topography sometime after his move. The world's first known movable type system for printing was hand-carved from wood, developed in China sometime in the 13th century. Woodcuts were not durable, as they tended to split in the press after repeated use. Furthermore, a new block had to be carved for each new impression, and the block was discarded as unusable as soon as a slightly different impression was needed. Gutenberg concluded that metal type, or movable type, could be reproduced much more quickly once a single mold had been fashioned. Movable type is the system of printing and topography that uses movable components to reproduce the elements of a document, usually individual letters or punctuation. Movable type page setting was quicker and the metal type pieces were more durable. The lettering was more uniform leading to topography and fonts. A former stonecutter and goldsmith, Gutenberg devised an alloy of lead, tin, and antinomy that would melt at low temperature, cast well in the dye, and be durable in the press. A hard metal punch with the letter carved back to front is hammered into a softer copper bar, creating a matrix. This is then placed into a handheld mold and a piece of type is cast by filling the mold with molten type metal. The matrix can be reused to create hundreds or thousands of identical sorts so that the same character appearing anywhere within the book will appear very uniform. The type is then arranged into type cases and can be reused in any combination, earning the name movable type. Gutenberg is also credited with the introduction of an oil-based ink, which was more durable than the previously used water-based inks. This was an oily, varnish-like ink made of soot, turpentine, and walnut oil created specifically for the printing press and movable type. As printing materials, he used both vellum and paper. Paper is a substrate made from wood pulp. It was created in 105 AD by Sai Lun a Chinese court official. The Chinese were able to keep the production of paper a secret for 500 years. Once word got out, it spread quickly throughout Asia. The first paper-making mill in Europe appeared about 1150 AD. After the death of his father, Gutenberg spent all of his inheritance on supplies for the printing press. In order to continue his experimentation, he sought out Johann Fust, a wealthy businessman to invest in his invention. Fust agreed. However, the agreement stated that if Gutenberg could not repay the loan with interest after five years, then Fust would get the printing press, tools, and materials. To help meet Fust's deadline, Gutenberg hired an assistant, Peter Schaefer, to help with the project. 
In 1455, Gutenberg demonstrated the power of the printing press by selling copies of a two-volume Bible for 300 florins each. That was the equivalent of approximately three years' wages for an average clerk, but it was significantly cheaper than a handwritten Bible that could take a single monk 20 years to transcribe. Close to the end of five years, and just before Gutenberg completed all 200 Bibles that he promised to produce, Fust sued to get his money. The judge ruled in favor of Fust and ordered Gutenberg to pay. Johann turned over the press, tools, materials, and all 180 Bibles. Fust and Schaefer then started a print company and took credit for producing the Bible, the world's first printed book. It wasn't until after Gutenberg's death that Schaefer admitted that it was Gutenberg who did, in fact, invent printing. The print technology that produced the Gutenberg Bible marks the beginning of a cultural revolution. By 1470, the printing press had spread to 14 cities in Europe, to 100 cities by 1480. Before 1500, more than 9 million books had been printed. The Gutenberg Press changed communication. It perfected script and made it easier to read. Books were made more rapidly, no longer taking years to produce. Current information could be shared locally and around the world. The cost of books decreased, allowing more people to buy them. Demand for books grew and the population became more literate. People wanted books written in their own language and readers wanted a greater variety of reading material. Book trade began to flourish, as well as industries such as paper making. Economies became stronger, and art and science began to flourish, which led to the beginning of the Renaissance. And from there, the printing industry continued to evolve. In 1476, William Caxton produced the first book in the English language. He was the first English person to work as a printer and the first to introduce the printing press to England. By 1525, trade newsletters began to develop as an early form of newspapers. In 1704, the first American news weekly, the Boston Newsletter, began publication by John Campbell in Boston, Massachusetts. By 1800, Lord Stanhope had built a press completely from cast iron, which reduced the force required by 90%, while doubling the size of the printed area. In 1814, the Times in London bought a press model that was capable of 1,100 impressions per hour. The first edition of the newspaper was printed on November 28, 1814. The steam-powered rotary printing press, invented in 1843 in the United States, allowed millions of copies of a page to be printed in a single day. By the late 1930s and 40s, printing presses had increased substantially in efficiency. A press model was manufactured that was capable of performing 2,500 to 3,000 impressions per hour. Throughout history, there have been four major printing processes that we still utilize today. Relief printing, intaglio, porous, and lithography. Relief printing, the oldest method of printing, was the process by which Gutenberg used to print. Movable type was placed into the press, type side up, ink was spread onto the type, and paper was put on top. The press applied the direct pressure needed to transfer the ink to the paper. Intaglio, or printmaking, is a method of printing where the image area is etched, or incised, into the plate surface to hold the ink. Ink is applied to the surface and then rubbed with a cloth to remove the excess. A damp piece of paper is placed on top. Then, the plate and paper are run through a printing press that, through pressure, transfers the ink from the recesses of the plate to the paper. Formerly, this process was used extensively for high-quality magazines, fabrics, and wallpapers. Today's common uses include some postage stamps and paper currency. Porous is a basic stencil process in which an image carrier is attached to a screen and ink is forced through the open mesh areas. Screen printing is an example of this method. Although this process accounts for a comparatively small part of the total volume of printing, 
Mechanization has made it more useful commercially. Because of the heavy laydown of ink, strong colors can be obtained by this process, making it suitable for posters and signs, as well as fine art. Lithography, or planography, is printing from a flat surface. It's based on the concept that oil and water do not readily mix. The drawing is made on the plate with greasy ink or crayon, and water is then applied to the plate. When the plate is inked for printing, the greasy parts accept the ink and the wet parts do not. Most commercial printing, brochures, business cards, are printed with a similar form of this process called offset lithography. <laughs>